Good signs for St Kilda with Loberg and Harvey getting early possessions. In four rounds, St Kilda had met and would ultimately beat the last three AFL premiers. North Melbourne this day ran into a white hot St Kilda. It just the answer at full forward in a supercharged Jason Heatley. This one. It's kicked accurately. First blood to the Saints. Who belts it back into play. Then it's knocked back towards the boundary line. Glenn Archer tackled hard. Blakey goes to ground. Here's Winmar. The Saints looking good. Winmar in the watch. Full forward. Good lead by Heatley and Terry Winger. and now Heatley's playing off to bring it in towards goal and he has found nothing but Terry when your normal full back is taken away and this is allowed St Kilda with the opportunity so Matthew Lappin from directly in front it's another one Koski taps it down. Brown over the top. Everett waits. Line hand pass. Jones again. Back to Burke. Measures this one. Zilla. And they need a Kramer. Harvey gives him that option and kicks the goal. North with superstars Carey and McKernan in the side for the second time for the season. Watch the Saints start well and only get better. Heatley's stats were outstanding. 15 kicks, 10 marks, and nine goals won. Everett, bring it up to low. Oh, back low here. No, he couldn't quite get there. Heatley again. Yes, it's another one that's his fourth. Everett against Mark Roberts. So Everett would have the height advantage. Well, Roberts actually won that. Rob Harvey again. Beautifully to Joel Smith from 50. It's an open goal. Another one, great handball by Harvey. Read it beautifully. Shanahan, Shepherds or Burke flattened. Kick comes up by Cripps. Denson killed it. Get another goal. Heatley charges in. 15 metres out. He's kicked number eight. Brown up towards full forward. Longmire, Heatley number 24. Would love to make it nine. Burke takes the hand pass from Lappin and kicks a goal. The standout contributor was Ruckman Peter Everett. A dozen kicks and 22 knockouts. Now Zilla. Here's Burke. He's been fantastic again. So is Pickett. Pickett drives it long. Oh, look at this. Robert Harvey's marked on his own. 20 metres out directly in front. Not often you see Robert Harvey deep in the forward line taking a mark. Yeah, this will be a just reward. This is for his second of the game. He pops it through. A six-goal final quarter gave the Saints a 54-point win. The busy eyes looking for options. Heatley. Well, Saints fans would love him to make it number nine. You've just had so many good players I'm not to gonna... raffle. I'm glad I'm not doing it. Heatley for number nine. Hard angle. And he has got goal number nine. Heatley's nine, second only to Bill Moore's 11 for the Saints in 1936. He'd get the three Brownlow votes. I'm not, I'm not un same, under the same sort of pressure that I was in the first three or four uh, rounds of the year. That would be silly not to say that. But I think also that um, the pressure now comes with the knowledge that now, when, if you're now saying that this is the year and this is the time that we believe we're going to make our mark, that if you now don't continue on and, and, and with eight games to go, if we weren't to produce in those eight games, well, well, obviously I'd be under enormous pressure and, and I would go anyway because if I, if I couldn't do the right thing then I, I would certainly know in my own mind it was time to give somebody else a chance. An ordinary looking kick across the ground. So to Adelaide. And it is worth reflecting that on this Saturday night in July, the Saints were fifth on the ladder having won eight, lost seven. Adelaide third with a 9-6 record. Some 10 weeks later, they'd be playing for far higher stakes. While Harvey gathered 42.